Hello wet shavers! Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If this is your first time watching, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button. And for this shave of the week, we're going to use Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Future Fiction. And this is a CK6 formula soap. It is a vegan based soap. I'm quite positive I paid $24.99 for 5 ounces of soap. And let's have a smell. We'll talk about the scent character more during the shave, but in a nutshell, this is a citrusy, gingery, vetivery sort of thing. A little bit woody, just a little bit, but it's good stuff. I actually quite like it. The scent doesn't project quite like most soaps do. You really got to get your nose up in there. Hopefully that changes during the uh, during the lathering process, but as you can see, I have not used this yet. It's a new soap just unboxed in my most recent unboxing video. And we got the matching aftershave splash from PAA. Good stuff. And this one's got a rev limiter on it to keep you from peeling out. <laughs> so the razor is going to be the Razorock BBSA. This is the same BBS from the uh, BBSA versus uh, BBS uh, comparison video I did. And yeah, BBSA. And this one, I swapped out the handle for the uh, UFO handle for this one. So the Gillette Nasset blades is going to be what we're going to use to put a blade in there. And the brush is going to be my Soap Thing brush from Opus Shaving. And this has a 26 millimeter. V6 tip knot from Turn and Shave on it. 26 millimeter badger. So let's get started. Okay, we have the usual suspects with us here today. We have the soap in the bottom of the Pereira Shavery Unbreakable Shaving Bowl. And we have the brush. And we have the spray bottle. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with eight sprays this time. And let's get started lathering this thing up. See how we do. And right off the bat, without a doubt, need a lot more water. It's a constant struggle with me to uh, to put as much water in as I really need to. I tend to underwater my soaps. Sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's by accident. But uh, I tend to prefer a thicker soap, a, a thicker lather with more structure, and that's why I'll tend to use less water than I probably should. Scent is projecting a little bit better. I can smell it from uh, from 12 inches away from where my face is to the bowl. So that's a good sign. And I think we're almost done. Let's add just a little bit more water and see what we can get out of this. And I didn't even put that much soap in here, but as you can see, it just exploded to life. I mean, look at that. That's outrageous. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that's good enough. Let's, let's get this to the face and let's do a shave. All right, we have the standard 44 to 48 hours growth on the face today. Let's smell the future fiction. Scent strength for this is a one out of three, so low scent strength. Let's take the Phoenix shaving cube and put some pre-shave on the face. It 
Hope everybody is doing well out there. Having great shaves. Keeping your car between the ditches. This knot is dense. Love this uh, tip knot from Turn and Shave. Okay. So I got a fresh Gillette Nasset blade in the Razorock BBSA. So let's start the shave. I did a shave with the BBSA off camera a couple days ago with a Permasharp blade and it shredded my face apart. Looked like Freddy Krueger from Friday the 13th. Or no, Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't, I'm not too versed in my, uh, my horror movies. But it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. So far this one seems to be doing pretty good. So let's talk about the scent. Uh, so when I smell this soap, what I think I smell is this. I smell lemon and orange, and I can smell the ginger and the honey amber, and I can smell the vetiver and the pine. And it basically what it comes together as is a kind of lemon, le 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 goodness, lemon ginger sort of thing. The ginger kind of steals the show a little bit. Because it pulls ahead in front of the, uh, the citrus and the vetiver. And the woody notes are kind of way off in the background. They're, they're definitely towards the bottom. I get, I get the woods towards the end of the sniff. So I think this is a story of, uh, of lemon and ginger. It doesn't have a ginger ale sort of scent. There's not that much ginger in it, but there's enough ginger to To recognize it for it to be not avoidable it's definitely it definitely makes itself known so think lemon ginger tea maybe it doesn't have that crisp tea sort of vibe but the biggest notes I think that are competing for attention Ooh, that was rough. Yeah, there's one. The biggest notes competing for attention, I think, are the uh, the lemon, the ginger, and the vetiver is what pops out to me first and foremost. There's, it's not it's not a crisp scent. It's a very smooth kind of creamy sort of scent, if that makes any sense. I would even go so far as to call it crowd pleasing a little bit. Oh yeah, I really got myself there. When I was going across my chin, I could feel that, that blade dragon. I was like, oh boy, I'm gonna pay for that. This BBSA is not like the the regular BBS. You got you have to uh, 
pay more attention and really understand that you're dealing with much more blade feel. Especially if you're coming off of the BBS and you're, you're, you're really used to it. This BBS-A is no, no razor to play around with. Slickness and protection on this is excellent. On this uh, CK6 soap. Well, I'm gonna put a little bit more over here. This little pocket in the side of my neck back there, it's where I always have a tough time getting a close shave over there. So I'm gonna blame this on, on going too fast. I should have been going slower across my chin. Okay, that's good. That's a good shape. All right, looks like we got a couple of trouble spots. So we're gonna take an Allen block to those. And we're gonna come back for the aftershave and my final thoughts. Okay, time for the Omega Allen block. Okay. Oh, let's start over here. Ooh wee. A little bit of burning over there. Right here where that nick was is burning. There's another one right here. Burns a little bit. It's the neck. I'm still getting used to using this uh, BBSA. So I'm having to, uh, to learn what blades are good for my shaving habits and how I might have to adjust my shaving habits for this particular razor. But it looks like it's all a story of I was rough on my neck today. So everything upstairs is uh, feeling just fine. So that'll be the Allen Block report card for today. Okay, time for the aftershave. Oh, the alcohol burn on this is for real. Holy shit. Ooh. I think I am a glutton for punishment today. I think I might have got a little bit more uh, razor burn than I thought. Hoo wee. Okay, so what are my, uh, my final thoughts on... Where'd it go? My final thoughts on... Phoenix Future Fiction. If I exhausted this to an empty tub, is it good enough to be a repeat purchase? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd buy this again. And there's not much to say about it. It's just a good performing soap, and it's got a nice, fresh, smooth, easygoing scent. What more can you ask for? So... That's my final thoughts on Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement's Future Fiction. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.